It's the one reason I hate Luminine Hall on a low level run. It's full of shit that I hate. Actually, I think that just leads to the other pathway. Like, if I decide not to go past by that guy that talks about the belly button. You know what? There we go. Red text be gone. This is the seventh dual sanctuary location. But it's mine now. Take it from me if you dare. Anyway, this is Electro Spectre. Electro Spectre is... He's an awkward monster. That's all I'm gonna... That's all I can really say with a straight face. If I remember it, he's got a shield. I can't remember which... If it's a power or a PSI shield. So, in lieu of, of forgetting, I'm going to... Use a neutralizer on him, even though sometimes he will neutralize him, and he will use a neutralizer himself, which makes no sense. He does love to do that. <gasps> ah! I didn't know that would do that! Ah! Wow. I guess we know what kind of shield he had now! I didn't even know you could bounce a lightning bolt off of a li off of the Franklin badge, and then have it bounce off a PSI shield. <sighs> well, it's a good thing I didn't cast uh, PSI power then. That would have really wrecked my shit. Jeff revive Paula. Boo! Freeze the damn thing. He just—he takes a good amount of damage. Who's gonna die? <laughs> Reoccurring theme here, folks. Moment someone revives, boom, another person dies. It will at least protect them from one blow, which is better than... Hmm. I wonder why I... Oh yeah, I got confused by the whole couple life mills and forgot that they're not like the secret herb. Um... Hmm. Another bomb. Of course it hits poo. There go our shields, but he still wasted his damn turn. And now he's lost his next turn too. See, this is how you keep you win fights at, with low level. You pin them down with freeze. Yes, I actually am trying to go for a kill here. <sighs> Damn it. This this is the annoying part about this guy. He's got tons of health. And he is damn hard to kill. But he has now died. You know, because of the whole fact that I said he is hard to kill. Thank you, game, by the way. You are an asshole. No, 
twice. <laughs> Offensive up Omega. Fairly useless. The stat gains in this spell are negligible, practically. I mean, unless you actually want to sit around for multiple turns while you're trying to buff yourselves and the enemy is just sitting there kicking your ass. Ooh, rabbit's foot. I believe I want that on Ness. I just need to remember where the hell it goes. No defense, but it gives a mass of speed. Look at that, he's sitting on 59. He's now faster than Paula, for God's sakes. I think Primarian it gives roughly around like a 30 or 35 speed boost, which is incredible. Huh. Looks like a light bright. Do any of you remember that? Little light brights, you know, you, it has like the little different light, little switches, you could put, and you had the different little light bulbs and you put them in the wall and... The wall is talking to me. Why is the wall talking to me? Oh, the wall is writing out my thoughts. Maybe if I think very hard, I, the wall will write out the one thought that's going through my head right now. Nope. Apparently not. Huh. Looks like we are missing something. Because that didn't sound very... Vision is father. Ness doesn't have a father. Ness... Or at least for all we know, Ness's father is a phone. Welcome to addition to see. Just you start up and you almost get attacked by a wetnosaur. Game tried to give me a flippin' heart attack. Anyway, welcome to Lost Underworld. We are really tiny. If you hadn't noticed. I hope you had because... And we move really fast when we teleport. Which makes teleporting and, uh, you know... Screwing up on teleporting the best way to get around. Oh, there's that ch I went on a while. I always think uh, That chest right th uh, that that little present right there is down here Anyway Teleporting is the only way to get around here without it taking four flipping ever If you wait right here where you can't move up anymore and wait for an earthquake Any time game. There we go. We have a geyser who comes out. Hot Spring gives us, uh, basically refills all of our stats. Um, they have a, y a red one that's kind of useless. It recovers your status ailments. And at this point, in this area, there's not really many things that will actually stand sale with you unless I think the Ego Orb does, but I don't know if it does. Ego Orb, I know, is an annoying tank monster that you find in here. You know what? Traveling around here takes forever. I mean, seriously, do you just want me to sit there and walk around here in a snake? Ah! Oh, that has to be a ch chest over there past the stupid wet sore. Ooh, brain food lunch. I 
Ow. <laughs> he tried to get to me, but I'm not gonna let that happen. Oh yeah, these guys are Chompasaurs. These guys are a bit more aggressive than wet Wetnosaurs in battle-wise. Wetnosaurs, if I remember right, you want to cast Freeze on them. With Chompasaurs, you want to cast Fire. Because, uh, well, they take 100% damage from both, I mean, from the, those respective abilities. While they only take about, like, half from the other. Oh god. Champasaurs are scary. So if you don't mind... Ah, oh, there's a C pendant. Now, I'm gonna say right now, throw this on Paula. For now, let's throw it on Paula. Actually, I would probably would say, where is it? Take the flame pin and give it to someone else. Give it to Jeff. Basically, you want your two characters. I mean, you want Paula and Jeff to have the uh, the resistance to elements, while um, Ness just basically. I would say Ness give give Ness the night pendant for the next coming area. Should be far enough. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Now to find the next treasure chest. I believe the map doesn't work here at all. That's why I never bother getting it. And this is the only area I ever get a little confused on where things are. Ah. Yeah. That chest. Oh. Guts capsule. Uh, ah! It's a wetnosaur! Save me, teleport! Ow. Tree. What the? You guys smell really good. Who am I? I'm a tender. Hey, what, what are you doing inside our dinosaur cage? I'm gonna open the door. You get out of there right now. I'm the boss, so I'll let you out. Thank you for the deck, Rod. <laughs> Thank you for getting rid of that awful smell. And see why I call it the most useless special item in the game. He just charges, uh, for borrowing money. I don't remember where it is. Oh yeah, he runs an inn, which is kind of useless because those gar gar guy geysers are sort of basically, uh, will basically heal up people and recover their PPE. This guy, when you talk to him the first time, well, as you saw, gives you a full heal. Who may take me take notes? Yes, you, the player playing this game, you might want to take notes. You are the chosen one. Derp! Jesse is not only yours, but Destiny of the whole universe. You know, this guy would have been so much better placed near the beginning of the game. Not here near the frigging end. <laughs> 